I need your eyes, my friend. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It wasn't... I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else if not a king should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the hold-up? The hold-up? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Hold! There is smoke ahead. Best not to draw attention here. Stay here. I'll have a look. That should be the last of these pig-faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. <laughs> Ruiz clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home. ...to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared.
Get the murderer! A healthy seeming town. This Oswald has done well for me. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> Is that why you've come? To back the Thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruet's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolf Kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face. So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. Limp, weak, soft. Ridiculous, absurd. in East Anglia. <laughs> enough fun for tonight if that's all you've got it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is <sighs> you are weak sheep herder your Norse friend here can't change that we are better off without a king well that's me done I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls what a waste of time and good mead these brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise.
Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. Valka! Godsebo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. All these people you have brought here, this life you have built on these stranger shores, does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question, which says more than you intend, I think. Is that Valka? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randy, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. You can put those just there. Thank you. This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions. To see them more clearly.
go, Sunan. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. Never heard tell of any river champion. Not sure what to make of that. But you're welcome to ask Eivor. Suniva and stranger, what brings you to our shores? Vaughn and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures. They seek to join with Ravenstone. If you wish to join us, we only ask for hard work and loyalty. No need of silver or gold. Wouldn't say no to it either. It is good to meet you, Eivor. And there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret routes of England's coasts, where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. You seek to share them with us. Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid. Once we repair our ship. I appreciate the offer. And accept it.
And how do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. Are you ready to set sail? I am ready. On to the raid. We will use my crew for the first outing. Easier for me to show you what lies along the river bank. Later, you are welcome to send your own Joms Vikinger along the paths we travel. Mine could use the rest. This river does maps. Few know how to navigate it. But the Yom's Vikinga have been learning its spirits. An old friend said it was a smuggling Sailor! of yes. She claimed it was useful in hiding their tracks. In fact, it is so well hidden. You could raid your very neighbors and they would never know it was you. Something to think about. Look! There! Villages! Not hoarders of wealth, mind you. But well worth the trouble if you're seeking rations for <laughs> Remember, we my crew is like a pack of trained wolves. Tough of fights in taverns. Well, stay alert. The smoke from the flames will alert camps downriver. 
The fighting will get tougher as we go. Let the sail out! Less sail! More sail! There! Military camp! You will find foreign supplies and evil gear. They will put up a fight, but so be it, yeah? To battle! Give me a hand over here! I thought you were a fighter, yet you didn't join the battle. Fighting your time for bigger fights. More of a captain these days. Odd, isn't it? A raider who doesn't raid. Turns out, spending years getting damn near chopped in half leaves you with enough aches and stiff muscles to keep you both well. Now come, let us go.
Yeah, done here. Come on.